things inside water always look smaller for us. And we can never know how deep the water really is by just looking at it. So when you step into water, you have to be careful. But why is that so? Let's find out. When a ray of light hits the boundary surface of two different materials at a certain angle, it breaks at a different angle. When light passes from an optically less dense material to an optically denser material, like from air to water, it breaks under a smaller angle. This is caused by the change of the speed of light in the two materials. The speed of light in water is 3 quarters of the speed of light in vacuum, while the speed of light in air is almost equal to the speed of light in vacuum. When light passes from an optically denser material to an optically less dense material, like from water to air, it breaks under a bigger angle. The refraction of light is described by Snell's law. N1 sin alpha is equal to N2 sin beta. N is the index of refraction, which tells how many times is the speed of light slower in the specific material than the speed of light in vacuum. Because of all this, when we see a body inside of water, we see it under a bigger angle than we would see it outside of water. This is the reason why we make a wrong estimation and why things look smaller to us than they really are. This explanation applies also on similar phenomena. Feel free to check out more videos on this channel and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Have a nice day and bye.